Hey guys, it's Alexi coming at you with this week's installment of Retro Gaming Goodness. For most peeps around the globe, it's prep time for the Yuletide season. But in the US of A, we still got Thanksgiving rolling in, which is right on brand because there's definitely a lot to be thankful for, especially in the realm of retro gaming. New games, new consoles, we've covered them every week. And this time, it's no different. If you're looking for a new title to get lost in for hours, or a new handheld that can keep up with your own badassery, then you've come to the right place. Many thanks. So hang on to your seats, because this ain't your average retro turkey dinner. But before that, make sure to like and subscribe so you'll always be up to date with the latest retro news. Click that bell icon so you'll know exactly when our news goes live. Let's go! We're kicking things off with an absolute arcade classic. If you've been around and spent your fair share of coin currency, then you probably remember that the 1980s arcade game of Wizard of War, if not, then maybe you played it on the Atari and C64, which were equally as fun. Well, that brings us to a modern version named Warriors, and its C64 release is coming to the Commodore Amiga thanks to Second Moon. Now, this is some really early news, as there's very little news to go around. All we know is it's at a very early work-in-progress state with a very early downloadable demo. Warriors has up to four players battling against each other around the Pac-Man-like maze, while a bunch of disappearing enemies try to take you out first. For a game this cute, it's pretty intense for sure. So if you want to be a warrior and go to war against your closest friends, best keep your eyes peeled for this title. Like we said earlier, Christmas comes early for a lot of people, myself included. Mariah Carey is good to go, and so are we. So for anyone who played on an old-timey PC or emulates using DOSBox, you might find a bit of fun with the wholesome Christmassy family game Crimbo by Black Jacket. All we're getting is an unofficial ZX Spectrum to DOS conversion by Little Shop of Pixels, which, as we all know, is already a ton of fun. The mission is clear and simple. You're jolly old Saint Nick, and it's your job to collect all the scattered presents while avoiding some holiday-hating duck demons and surprisingly dangerous pine trees. Yes, we never knew the Yuletide foliage could be so deadly. Of course, once you clear each area, you've essentially saved Christmas. And you can do it all again next year. Or maybe immediately, if that tickles your fancy. It's only been a couple of weeks since Retroid gave us all a taste of the Pocket 2S, and this time, we're getting quite the snazzy update that not only looks good, but feels even better. Safe, even. While people clamoring for something badass, Go Retroid gave an equally badass answer with the Go Retroid Pocket 2S gun metal version. Make no mistake, colorful hard plastic is all well and good, but there's something satisfying about wielding a solid steel handheld console. So badass. As of now, there's no news of release, only an official teaser. Still, with GoRetroid saying it's coming soon, we can at least be relieved to know that it's actually going to happen. So if you want a bit more heft and a bit more danger when you game on the go, then Go Retroid's Gunmetal Retroid Pocket 2S might just be up for your alley. And there you have it, under the week of sweet retro gaming goodness. If you have suggestions for any news to cover, or if we missed anything, let us know down below. As always, don't forget to like the video so YouTube's algorithm shows us some love. Again, I'm Alexi, and I'll catch you all again next time.